Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is a 7 inch Android based device. It's running Android version 2.2, also known as Froyo, and it packs in 16 gigabytes of internal memory, a capacitive touchscreen, and a 1 gigahertz processor. Now, this one was actually sent to me by Clove Technology. You can find them at clove.co.uk. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you email. So I've already got my Gmail set up here. This is my Gmail inbox, and you can see some of the emails I've been receiving. I can actually uh, delete emails by ticking these boxes in the left-hand side, and then I can tap delete, and that will get rid of them. Or I can, in fact, tap on an email, and if I scroll to the bottom of this particular one, all the way to the bottom, I'll find a reply. So I can actually reply to the email and if I tap in here the on-screen keyboard comes up. So let's have a look at typing on the Galaxy Tab. So let's type as though I was using a normal keyboard. There we go, that has done a pretty good job accuracy wise. You can rotate it round, you can use it in portrait format or landscape. In this landscape format you can sort of get away with um, typing with the thumbs. There you go, you can sort of type pretty quickly, holding it in the hand and just typing, doing thumb typing with it as well. So very nice keyboard, very uh, sort of well spaced out. To access the numbers you can tap and hold and a little grid pops up, you can gain access to the capital Q or the number one. And again for number two you'd hold down W and then tap on number two. So a very quick way of entering um, uh, numbers as well as text entry. So let's go back and we're going to discard this email let's say discard because we don't want to save it and back out to my main email view and again portrait format for email view or landscape I can delete individual me messages as well so I can sort of tap and hold on an individual message and then either read it, archive it, uh, mute it, mark unread uh, delete it, add a star, change labels, report as uh, spam or get some help on it let's delete that one as well and perhaps this one here I want to mark as unread because I haven't read that one properly so plenty of controls for email if I want to change accounts I can tap on the icon here and switch to another account now this is Gmail integration which it does very well indeed let me just pop into applications there should be in here another email tab <clears throat> or another email icon I should say and I can't see a normal mail icon here so perhaps that's oh here we go email so within this one I haven't actually set up any email accounts but this is for sort of non Gmail accounts so any pop or IMAP based account you can actually set up within this email application slightly different interface but essentially the same sort of thing well the Samsung Galaxy Tab for emailing absolutely fantastic uh, the on-screen keyboard as you saw very accurate indeed now you can if I just show you on this side here you can put a sim card into this device and use it as a phone so you could use the same sort of on-screen keyboard for sending text messages as well so the Galaxy Tab not only does emails but also does phone calls and text messaging now I have tested it uh, with phone calls I'm not going to show you the phone call feature on video because it's very difficult for me to demonstrate but the voice clarity extremely good it's fine using a device like this for the odd phone call I'm not going to do it all the time that's what I've got my mobile phone for but at least the feature is there and you've got this front facing camera so you could use it for video conferencing as well so email and texting on the Galaxy Tab a very nice experience thank you very much for watching please come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.